Welcome to a tutorial video on using Python. In this video, I'm going to talk about using external modules. As part of the larger ecosystem of Python, its community has created a large number of different external modules that can be used in your project or as part of your organization. These are part of importing in external modules, and they use the import keyword, as we see right here in line three. Once something is installed on your system, or as part of your environment, you can then import it into your script or as part of your project, which allows you to access things that are part of that module. That is, allows us to use external code as part of your internal project. So we start with the import keyword. However, before we can even do that, we have to get the module installed. And while that's not covered in this particular video, I recommend checking out the link to the blog post that's part of this video description that talks more about the Python module management system, sometimes called PIP, that can, use to, that can be used to install things. In newer versions of Python, it comes along with this tool, and you can easily install modules that are part of this ecosystem. However, as I said, that's not really covered in this video. So we're going to assume that it's installed, and in fact, Repo will, will help us with that. So the first time we run this, we're going to see a bunch of stuff on the right-hand side because it's going to install this package so we can run it immediately. And so we're using the import keyword to say, hey, go get this package. Down here on line six, we're using it. So from this package, date time dot date time. So the object that is part of this package and then a function as part of that. So import date time, date time is right here, is the name of the package. Date time is also the name of the object inside of this package. And then finally, we have the function call. So we're getting the current time in UTC, saving it as the value of this variable. Down here, we're then going to print it out. So let's run all this so we can see it in action. So as we see over here on the right-hand side, it's giving us the correct time. So we're importing this package. We're looking at its result, and then we're printing it. And we run this again. We'll notice it give this right there. So as I said, Repo's already got this set up for us. So we can get this package, use this package, and then print it. However, if you're using Python on Repo, there's something else that's important here. Instead of using pip manually, which you might do through the command line or through some type of access part of a program, we can install modules from over here. In fact, look for packages and install them. So if I looked up date time, we can see right here we can get date time and data types. Notice it says you can use Python's built-in ones. So we don't have to worry about it. It's already built in for us, and we can import it. However, we wanted to import other packages, we could go through the same route. And this would be similar to working with pip, but as part of the repo cycle. So again, as a review, we need to install things. Normally, outside of using repo for working on our home system or our local system, we would use pip to install different packages. Once it's installed, we can then import it into our code using the import keyword. Once it's imported, we can access objects of that package using its name. And they, down here, we're importing date time, date time, object, function. And then we can see down here the results. As we saw over here when I run this, it is currently 1-13-2019. Thanks for watching.